Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at, at part 9 in your vendor practice parts. Again, you need to have at least 8 out of the 12 drawings, and this in uh, this particular video is going to look at part 9. So what we're going to do is open up uh, Inventor and click on New. Standard IPT, click on Create. And once I'm in here, I'm going to click on Create 2D Sketch. And I'm going to click my XY plane, the vertical plane here. I'll select that one, and I'm going to use my rectangle, and I'm going to select the origin point, the XY origin at 0, 0. And like always, make sure as you, before you start a part, make sure you look at your, your, uh, your sheet and uh, look at the particular part, and make sure you figure out what the overall length, height, and depth of each part, uh, the part is. Again, remember that each grid is a quarter of an inch to help you as you're figuring out your measurements. With this one, we're going to look at it. We're going to draw it from a front view. And if you take a look at the uh, the front view, the overall length is 2.25 or 2 and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type that in, press tab then. And I'm going to put the overall uh, height in of, of this particular part which is one and a half for the height. So we're going to go ahead and type in 1.5 and enter that in. And I'm going to double click my center mouse button and that zooms me out, fits everything in my graphic window and I'm going to finish the sketch. And then from there what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this out. So I'm basically going to make a big cube first and then I'm going to cut a section out of it. So what we have here is we're going to extrude that out at one inch and click OK because that is the actual depth. The depth is one inch. And I'm going to go through and create another 2D sketch on this front face. Now from there, I'm going to create some guidelines because there's a section that's cut out over here. I need to create some guidelines to, uh, to create that particular shape. So I'm going to click my line tool. I'm going to go in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag out a line, make sure that it's horizontal. And I'm going to create a line that is 1.25. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to connect some dots here soon, but we have to create the dots first that we're going to connect to. So I'm going to press escape, get out of the line tool, and I'm actually going to reselect the line tool. And I'm going to go up from the bottom right hand, 0.5. And basically just going to connect those two points right there. Now when I go through, I'm going to cut this section out. When I uh, cut through with Inventor, I always need to have a closed object. So I'm actually going to have to close this object off. So I'm going to create another line that is one inch in length. And then from there, I'm going to drop this, create another line. All right, that is one inch. So we have a closed off triangle up here in the right hand corner. And I'm going to finish that sketch. Then from there, I'm going to click on Extrude and Cut. And I'm going to cut that through at 1.25. So make sure we change that dimension. I'm going to cut through, select that shape, cut all the way through that. I'm sorry, that was at 1. At 1 inch. And click OK. And there we go. We actually have our, our shape. It's completed. The last thing would be to color it. And we're going to just make that dirt brown. And there we go. Again, the last, we always need to save our part. So we'll go save as. And we're going to save this as part 9. Always label your parts to the actual part that you're drawing. Or your file name to the parts that you're drawing. So this is part 9. And we'll click on save. Alright, if you have any questions, please refer to your instructor or ask a classmate.